Oh, Mina, are you alright? You didn't get burned, did you? Did the steaming cup of coffee I accidentally spilled on you leave any lasting marks on your delicate skin? What you're saying is so ridiculous, you know? The coffee was scalding hot, fresh from the pot, and I do believe I now carry a few burn marks as souvenirs from our encounter. But did you know that even after that, your youngest son pulled me aside and started yelling at me too? Can you believe it? Oh right, yeah, that whole thing. What a mess, wasn't it? So maybe next time Henry should just be a little more careful to make sure things like this don't happen again? Beg your pardon? Are you being genuinely serious right now, Patina? Absolutely, Mina. You see, the crux of the matter lies in the fact that the coffee ended up splashed on you due to your own choices and actions. Surely you're aware of this, aren't you? What do you mean? All I did was visit the mother of my future husband to introduce myself before the wedding. And then all of a sudden you just threw your coffee at me and then threw me out of the house. I've never been treated like that before in my life. I don't even see how you could even try to put the blame for all this on me. You really don't understand, do you? Ugh, I would have thought that because you were a bit older, I wouldn't need to explain, but guess not, huh? Excuse me? And just what does that have to do with anything? Just how many years older are you than my dear Henry? You know that I'm eight years older than him. Well, that's my point, dear. Don't you think that's too much? It's a matter of... How should I put this? Let's call it... Freshness. That's why I could never bless the marriage between you and my son. Patina, I understand that I'm a bit older than your son, but while I'm 38, Henry's already 30. We're both grown adults, so I'm not really sure that the freshness is really all that big of a factor between us. Listen here, Mina. I'm Henry's mother, and I've already decided that the perfect bride for him is someone young and healthy. And I just feel like the eight-year difference is too much. If it was in the other direction and you were eight years younger than Henry, well, then things might be different. But that isn't the case here. Are you serious right now? Did you really just say that? Are you listening to yourself? So you're saying that the only reason you won't bless Henry and I's wedding is because I'm not young enough for him, and that's it? <laughs> well, that's right. I can't have my son marrying some old woman while he still has so much to live for. You understand, don't you? That's why I'm very sorry. But I'd appreciate it if you just gave up and left my son. Maybe it would be best for you to try and find someone closer in age to you who you could marry. You might have more luck that way. That's a horrible thing to say. I came all this way because Henry and I want to get married and be together. And to have all that thrown back in my face for some superficial reason like that... Well, that's just unacceptable. <sighs> I'd understand if you were a younger woman saying all of these things, but it really is different after a certain age. And 38 misses the mark by quite a bit. I think you need to be more realistic in your thinking. Curb your expectations and try to put away all your ideals. And I think you'll see that I'm right. I think I'm being completely realistic right now. Besides, do you think wanting your son to marry some young, healthy girl isn't some ideal in itself? Do you not see the hypocrisy? Excuse me? Are you trying to start a fight with me right now? No, of, of course not. Nothing like that, I promise. I'm just trying to understand and can't bring myself to. Okay, let me try and explain this to you. My two sons are my treasures who I painstakingly raised ever since the day they were born. And the hard work has paid off. Now, Henry's a successful businessman, excelling in his field, and his younger brother, Jaden, is about to start his new position at one of the most prestigious companies in the whole world. If I'm being honest, I just don't think that you're good enough for my little Henry. Do you understand what I'm saying? I just can't understand how you could honestly hold these views. I mean, are you even listening to yourself right now? Well, let me tell you that ever since my husband passed away, all I've had in my life are my boys. They are too precious to me, and I will not let my son marry you. I see. Please excuse me, I, I have to talk to Henry about something for just a moment. But I'll let you know that no matter what you say, Henry and I have no intention of cancelling our wedding. Oh, so that's how you're gonna be, huh? Well, I want you to know that I have no intention of ever blessing the pairing. So you can just go on in this vain little fight of yours because I'm not changing my mind either. I am so, so sorry. I guess it went about as bad as you thought it would, huh? Did you get any burns? Are you alright? I can't even begin to describe how sorry I am right now. 
It's fine. I was the one who kept insisting on going all the way to your mom's house in order to introduce myself. But I was just so surprised. I thought you were exaggerating, but she really is just like what you said. I tried to warn you, but she, she can just be so horrible sometimes. I really don't understand why she acts the way she does. And my little brother. Well, him and my mom were like peas in a pod the way they're always judging and criticizing people. I'm afraid I might have to pull your brother's job offer off the table because of the way he's been acting today. I don't think such a violent and hateful person as that should be working for me. I suppose you might be right. I guess that's better than you finding out just what kind of person he is after you gave him the job. Yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Maybe it's a good thing I was able to meet him now. Were you two always... I mean, was there a Henry where you two ever got along? Did I see him hitting you earlier? Yeah, but Jaden has always been like that. Even before our dad died. He was violent and would even hit me. But him and my mom were always close, so she always took his side whenever anything happened. That's why I couldn't stand living in that house anymore, and I decided to move out. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry, Henry. I didn't know what I was doing when I pushed so hard to meet your family. No, no. I'm the one who should be sorry. If only I was strong enough to just cut her off, I would have done it a long time ago. And then there would have been no need for you to go out and meet her. Well, there's no use worrying about that now, right? What do you think we should do? I guess the only thing left to do is for me to cut ties with my family, and then we can live together in peace. I think this is a good chance to finally do it. I'm sick of them always interfering in my life. This is finally a chance to change my life for the better. Henry, are you sure? Do you really still want to marry someone like me? Huh? Of course I do. How could you even ask a silly question like that? I mean, it's not like I'm marrying you out of some sense of obligation or pity, you know? I'm doing it because that is what my heart is telling me to do. It's not me marrying you, it's us getting married to each other as a couple. Henry, thank you. And don't thank me for this either. Like I said, this is something that we're doing together. We're equal partners, aren't we? Of course we are. I'm sorry, I guess I've just suddenly become so nervous. Well, who wouldn't be after everything that you went through today? I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I do not care one bit about your age. Besides, it's not like I'm 16 years old and you're 24 years old. I'm 30 years old and you're 38 years old. I can't think of a legitimate or logical reason why anyone would have a problem with that. I feel the exact way. Well, anyways, I guess I'll have to tell your mom about Jaden's job. Yeah, that might be for the best. And then we can finally cut them out of our lives and the two of us can get married like we always wanted to. Excuse me, Patina. There's something I think we should talk about. Oh, Mina. Well, I'm not sure what we have left to say to each other. I already told you that no matter what you say, I won't be changing my mind. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Thank you. I just think that you owe me an apology for the burns you gave me earlier today. If you really do understand that, then I guess we have nothing else to talk about, do we? And an apology? <laughs> That's rich. But no, I don't think I will apologize to you, dear. I've already decided that my boy should only marry someone young and healthy. Once I saw how old you were, I just couldn't help but throw my coffee at you. Well then, I guess your youngest son can kiss his job off for goodbye. What are you talking about? Your son, Jaden, received a job offer the other day from the Fredrickson Company the other day, didn't he? <laughs> and just how did you hear about that? Well, you see, I work as the president for that company. And I'm afraid I've decided that having someone like Jaden work for me would not be in the company's best interests. I've already gone through the trouble of informing human resources of my decision, and the reception process has already begun. I believe they've already sent the appropriate paperwork to your son, so I would appreciate it if you could tell him to check his email and confirm it's been sent. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not buying a single thing that you're saying right now. 
You're lying through your teeth right now. Do you really expect me to believe that you're actually the president of the Fredrickson Company? Did you really think I'd buy that? Do I look like an idiot to you? Well, yes, I suppose you're right on all of those counts. I'm not the actual president of the Fredrickson Company, but I am currently the company's acting president. And since the current president is about to retire, his authority is currently wielded by me, the former vice president of the company. Oh my, this lie is really unbecoming of you. And besides, I'm still not seeing any proof of this crazy story that you're trying to sell me right now. How about you go to the homepage of the company website? I'm sure that there you'll be able to find my name and picture under the board of directors directory. Oh, my. Oh dear, y you weren't lying. You're really the president of the Fredrickson Company? That's right. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. Anyways, back to talking about Jaden's job offer. Like I just said, I've already set in motion the process for its cancellation, and there will be no appealing it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wait, please, won't you reconsider? I never knew you were the president of a company. I swear I'll apologize for everything, so please don't go through with this. Uh, I'm afraid that we're far past that point. I don't need or want any apology from you any longer. But how can you be so cruel? Besides, this has nothing to do with work or the office. It's not fair. You can't be making these kinds of personal decisions for things that happen outside of work. I'm not firing him, though. I'm rescinding his job offer. Besides, in this day and age, it's more than reasonable for a boss to consider someone's behavior outside of work in these kinds of decisions. Did you not know that? What? No, of course not. And even so, please just give him another chance. After all, Jaden passed all your company's interviews, didn't he? Didn't you learn enough about him to hire him then? I don't get what's changed. Yes, he did perform quite well in the interview stages. However, after seeing how violently he acted earlier, I'm afraid that I'm left with no other choices but to do this. So that's why you snuck over here to spy on my own son in his own home. No, no. I'd always known that from the start that Jaden was Henry's younger brother, though I was hoping to get to know him better after I introduced myself to you. But him being there today really was just a big coincidence. You're lying! I don't believe a word you're saying. By the way, are you sure you still have no intention of apologizing to me? What are you talking about? I said, aren't you going to apologize to me or do you intend to keep this stubborn attitude until I give Jaden his job back? No, it's not that. Well, in that case, I'll take an apology from you now and I'll be sending you the bill for my burns as well as the letter from my lawyer about the assault charges I'm going to be pressing against you. And... And if I apologize and pay you, then you'll give my Jaden his job back? So you're saying that you won't apologize for something you did unless you're going to get something out of it. And that you're honestly going to reflect on your actions, but you can't even give an apology for its own sake. <laughs> no, no, that's not it. I promise. I know what I did was wrong, and I'm sorry. Please believe me. I sincerely apologize for making fun of you and throwing my hot coffee on you. You do know that I got burns from that coffee, don't you? Oh, yeah, and for that, I am so deeply sorry. Medical bills, lawsuit, whatever you want, I promise I'll pay for all of it. Thank you for acknowledging what you did to me. And yes, it is only natural that you pay for things that you did. I'll be sending you an invoice for everything you owe. Make sure you send the money to Henry's account. Understand? So, is that it? You have nothing else you want to say to me? What would I have to say to you? No, nothing. I was just hoping about Jaden's job offer. <laughs> I already told you that the decision has been made and there is no chance of appealing it. All I was asking from you was an apology. Something I think was only fair after everything that you did. Please, I'm begging you. I'll do anything. Just please reconsider. Once my little Jaden hears about losing his job, well, he'll just be crushed. Don't you understand? He'll be crushed. How do you think I felt when I went all the way to your home, eager to meet my new mother-in-law? And all you and your son did was insult me and throw me out. And then Jaden beat up Henry. And you just let him get away with it. I don't even know where to start with all of that. I... but... I didn't... Hi, Mom. It's Henry. Oh, Henry. It's a good thing you're here. 
Maybe you can clear up everything with Mina here. Can you believe she's going to cancel Jaden's job offer? Actually, I don't. I think that's the least of what he deserves. In fact, I can't stand either of you anymore. Wait, Henry, what are you talking about, dear? I've always felt like this, Mom. I just never had the guts to tell you how I honestly felt until now. You and Jaden are more than just bad family members. You're horrible people. Like today, Mom, I couldn't believe how cruel you were to Mina. And Jaden threw her out of the house and followed it up by hitting me. I love Mina more than anything in this world. Do you understand? And we don't need your permission to love each other. But, dear, I apologize to her for all of that. We made it. It's all okay now. What? Mom, did you honestly think that everything would be fixed just because you apologized? You admit what you did was wrong, and you think that means that the other person should have to just completely forgive you? You've always been like this. Did you know that? Thinking in these simple, unrealistic terms. I've always hated it so much. Now, just a moment, son. Settle down. I did something wrong and I've learned my lesson. It'll never happen again. And if you leave your brother and I, well, once Jaden finds out that, he won't be getting his job. Is it money? Is that what you're worrying about right now? No, not money. But your brother, when he finds out, he's going to be so upset. I'm scared. Henry, please, you've got to help me. So when he gets violent with Mina, it's no big deal. But when it finally becomes your turn, that's when you get scared. Do you even hear yourself right now? How can a mother be so cruel to one of her own? Please, I'll apologize. I'll do anything. I'm begging you. Why would I ever in a million years help you? Mom, you're the reason Jaden is like this. You do something about it. I never want to see you again. Don't ever message or call me again. You got it? Wait, Henry. You can't leave me like this. Please, I'll do anything. Henry already left, and he blocked you and Jaden on everything. And since you're no longer a part of Henry's life, I don't see any reason to talk to you any longer. From now on, we're done. Wait, please. So you two are fine leaving me with Jaden? You know how he gets. What if, what if he starts hitting me too? And besides, how are we supposed to live if Jaden doesn't have a job? How am I supposed to pay for your burns and whatever else you charge me? How are we supposed to live? Hmm. Sounds like quite the predicament to me. Maybe next time, you should just be a little more careful to make sure things like this don't happen again. My life changed drastically after Patina's attack on me with hot coffee. The incident not only exposed her hatred towards me, but also her son Jaden's involvement in a series of crimes. Jaden lost his job offer when his employer found out about his criminal record and went berserk. He was arrested by the police after a violent struggle and sent to jail. There, he was linked to several other cases of robbery and vandalism and is now facing a long prison sentence. Patina, who had always depended on her sons for financial support, was left with nothing after paying for my hospital bills and damages. She had to find a part-time job at a convenience store, barely making enough money to survive. She lives alone in a small apartment, struggling with loneliness and guilt every day. As for me, I finally got married to Henry after we cut off all contact with his mother and brother. We moved into our dream house in the countryside, where we enjoy a peaceful and happy life together. We don't care what anyone else thinks about our age difference or our relationship. We are free to pursue our own happiness.